Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyberlab and today will be another video about Nextcloud. In this video, we're gonna show how you can install Nextcloud on Oracle Cloud, one of VPS of Oracle Cloud, but you don't need to only use Oracle Cloud, you can use any kind of VPS that run Linux. Also, in this video, we're gonna show how you can use the Cloudflare tunnel in your Nextcloud. In this way, you don't need to open any port for your system, you can have all the ports closed, either the 443 or port 8, and you can still use your service external. Also, with the Cloudflare, you can create a proxy. In this way, if someone try to discover the IP for a machine, it will not be possible because Cloudflare will proxy it and will create a tunnel and protect your system. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show But First of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and Let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we explain how you can install Nextcloud on your VPS, we need to go to the basics. First of all, I have my virtual machine or my instance created on Oracle Cloud. This instance has the IP 132.145.14.218. And they work with ARM system. This ARM specifically they have uh, two cores, 12 gigabytes of uh, RAM memory, and two gigabytes of network. Also, I only create with 50 gigabytes because it's only for a file transfer, not to keep a lot of files there. If I want to keep a lot of information, I will keep in my NAS. This one it's only a quick cloud. Other thing that's interesting this one work with ARM, so your system need to be able to run ARM. So we have a few options that you can install. We can install Nextcloud Linux server and to get Linux Cloud Mariana DB, but we're gonna install the official image for the Nextcloud. If I come here, this official image, they support AMD, ARM32 and ARM64. And in my case, ARM64 that I will need and they are there to work for me. So in this way, we can install this image. But before we start to install anything, we need to understand that we need to prepare our machine. So we need to open Putty, and in this machine, we need to install Docker, we need to install Portainer, and we need to install Nextcloud, and in the end, Cloudflare Tunnel. So first thing, we're gonna open Putty and log in with our machine. Here in putting, we're gonna put our IP address and put open. First time that they ask for open, they will ask if you want to download the key, I will put yes, and that they will have my account open. First thing that we need to do is to update our machine in order to make sure that everything to work properly. So in this way, we're gonna do sudo apt get update, and then we're gonna put enter. In this way, they will download and review all the libraries and check if all the lists is updated. Once that is done, what we're gonna do, we're gonna upgrade our system. So we're gonna run upgrade. In my case, only show that they need to install few megabytes. So we'll put yes and enter. They will install all the system. And once that finish, we can proceed for the next stage. Once that uh, they upgrade all my system, I can put clear and I need to install some basic application. The application that I need to install will be CA certificate, core, GNUPG, LSB release. So I will put enter and I will install everything. Once that finished to install, I will download the key for the Docker. To download the key for the Docker, I will put sudo mkdir and create the location for the key and after I will do core to download everything, so we'll put enter. Don't worry, these steps will be in the link below, so you can only copy and paste, you don't need to tape it, so don't worry. We're gonna understand a little bit more in the next stage. So now once that it's done, I will run this follow step to download all the Docker list and all the key it set. Now I can download the get docker and get docker sh. 
In the end, I will install this Docker. To install this Docker, I will put sudo sh get docker sh and they will run all the script. This stage will take a little bit longer because they will install all the Docker and make sure that everything install. So let's wait this to finish before we go to the next stage. Once appear this page, we can come here a little bit up and they say that the Docker client that is using is revision 23 and the server Docker engine is revision 23. Now I know that Docker is running, but don't have all the information that they need because they did install Docker C, they did install Docker Compose, did install all the applications they're gonna need from the Docker. So in this way, I will get or download some application. I will put sudo apt install docker c, docker c click, and continue on, and I'll put enter. Once that finished to install those, I can start to install Nextcloud. But before I do it, I will use Portainer. And to install Portainer, I will do the following step. In this way, I can manage all the application in docker in this easy way. So first, I will create a volume called Portainer and put enter. After creating this volume called Portainer, I will install Portainer. To do it, I will put sudo docker run port 9000 and my Portainer. Once that appear this information here, it means that has been installed successful, and then they give me this port. This port that I'm gonna use to install Portainer, once that you can finish configure Cloud Tunnel, you can close this port and that you can use Portainer in the way that you want. So now I will open the IP address for my machine to dot port 9000. So I'll do it now. First time that I do it, there will appear this page for create a new user. The user that I will create will be admin. I suggest you to create any other name because it's easy to locate admin and I will define my password. Look here, the password must be at least 12 characters. So I'll make quite a long password and I create my user. Once that I create my user, I can come here in primary and I can come for stack. In stack, I will create a new stack. Before I start here to paste any information here, I need to understand what information that I need to paste here. So I come here in my next cloud and I will go down. First thing that they will show me, it's all the folders, all the volumes that I'm gonna need. So I have the folder HTML, that will be the main folder. I have the install, modify apps, location configuration, the actual data for the next cloud, and any team that I want. So we need to configure all those ports or all those volumes, and this way that they configure the volumes. Other thing, if I go a little bit more down, they will give me the Docker Compose for it. And this Docker Compose that I will install, but I will do some modifications. First thing, in this Docker Compose, they give me the volume as an X cloud and DP. What they're doing? They're creating a volume in the Docker. In this way, everything is in the Docker. But I don't like it, so those volumes here, next cloud or database, or the others that we looked before, are gonna change in order to have my location specific. In my case, I like to live as MMT slash Docker slash the application that I'm doing. In this way, I know that if I need to do a backup for all this data, will be everything located in that specific location. Other thing that I need to look that I'm using MariaDB revision 10.6, and here will be all the information for my database. So I need to create a password for my root, I need to create a password for the database, and here I need to match both passwords. Only remember, you should try to create different passwords my case will create exactly the same because it's not any problem for me, but you should create different passwords. So in this way, we're gonna run this application. So I come here in my Docker, so I come here in my Portainer, and I will copy the script that I read would find only to save time for me, and I come here. What I change in this case, I create my password, and here, as I told before, I'm use MMT Docker Nextcloud and that the folders that I want for each application. This configuration, exactly, you can find description, so you don't need to tape it. Other thing that's interesting, that I'm using port 8.8, and not port 8, 
because I don't want to have conflict with anything in my system. If I'm using Proxy Manager, potentially I can create issues if I put port 8. This reason that I leave as 88. So now, once that I finish configuring everything, I will come here and put deploy the stack. And now is the time that I'm gonna wait until they download all the application, install it, and once that they finish, we go for the next stage. So let's wait. Now that I have my next cloud installed, I can come here in containers, and I have next cloud database and next cloud app. Before I try to open this port 88, I will install the Cloudflare tunnel. In this way, I don't need to open port 88. So now I come here in my Cloudflare, and here in my Cloudflare, I will come for my access and I put tunnel. Here in tunnel, I will create another tunnel, so I'll put create. Here will define the name of the tunnel. In my case, I will put Cyberlab and put save tunnel. In order to create this tunnel, we need to connect this tunnel to my Docker. So what I'm gonna do, I will put Docker and I will put copy. Now I can come here my putty and now here I will put sudo and I will paste all this information and put enter. In this way, they will install my Cloudflare and start it. If you look here, they start to run with different IP address, but if I stop here, they will stop this application. What I need to do, I need to go back here in my portainer and here this application has exit. So we'll come here and put start. After a few seconds, you can come here in your next cloud and that they will appear. The connect ID, the data center, and the IP address, so I can put next. Now I can define the name of the application that I want. In my case, my subdomain will be nextcloud and my domain will be cyberlab. In this way, if I put nextcloud.cyberlab, they will open the application that I'm directly the IP address. Now I need to find the type of service. So in my case, it will be HTTP because I'm not using port 443, will be HTTP. So now which IP address that I should use? Here in my portainer, I can see that this image is specific for the Cloudflare. So if I come here, it's Cloudflare that I'm using and all the way down, they are connected to the network bridge. So in this way, any application that I want to connect to the Cloudflare, I need to connect the option for bridge. So I come here in container, come in here in my next cloud app, all the way down until my network and I will select as a bridge and join it. So in this way, if I go back here, the bridge connection for the next cloud will be 172.17.0.4. So I can copy it, come here in my Cloudflare, paste it, and I will put two dots, eight. Why I put port eight? The port configuration that the next cloud is using will be TCP for port eight and TCP for port eight. This one, eight, 080 will be only the IP address externally and this one will not use in my case because the network that I'm using will be the bridge. So I come here and leave port 8 and put save tunnel. So far, if you did everything correctly, you're gonna be able to locate this overlap and if you come here in public host, this is the IP address that I need to connect in order to connect for my next cloud. So if I come here, and click next cloud. In this page, I will be able to create the admin user for my next cloud. So I'll put cyberlab and also I'll define my password and put install. Now what they're gonna do, they will start to create all the information database, user information that you have. And if everything running well, you're gonna appear this page for recommend app. I really suggest you to come here and put install recommend app because in this way they will install calendar, contact, mail, next cloud office, notes and talk. And you know that if everything has been installed, everything is working well. If you don't install it, potentially can have some issues. This is that they recommend you to install it. So let's wait the installation to finish and that we can go for the next stage. Once that the installation has been complete, you're gonna have this page that next cloud hub and you can close it and now you can start to enjoy Nextcloud. You can define your weather, you can come here in your files and you have all your files, 
Also, if you come here in File Settings, here your web dev where you can external access it. But uh, what is interesting? If I come here in uh, Personal Settings, come here for Settings. Here is the system that you're using. So you're using Linux or Google Cloud in the uh, option Arc 64. The processor will be a no, but I know that it will be Ampere. You're gonna have a 12 gigabytes of run memory, and here it's your load for the application and how much memory that you're using. In this way, they will give you that you have 11.7 gigabytes totally, and you're using around one gigabyte with your system. If I come here, here's my system or my hard drive that I have available. Because I set the hard drive for around 50 gigabytes minus everything that you install, you still have 40 gigabytes of data. In this way, you can have a really reliable, fast, and always on next cloud. And with this Cloudfare tunnel, you don't need to drop any port in order to access or in order to make your next cloud external access. So I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time.